Good morning, everybody. It's a beautiful morning in Somerville. It is. It's October. It's starting to feel a little colder out. A little, I'm going to say a little more cooler, right? But this is the weather I think we all live for. Absolutely. <laughs> you see us bundled up a little bit. Yes. I almost put my toboggan on for the bald head, but decided <laughs> against it. It's not quite cold enough. Yeah, exactly. But no, I, before we get started in our conversation, I just want to thank the community for really getting engaged with cruising with the mayor. I think this is uh, the community found this to be very helpful in digesting what happens at a council meeting. And that's really the goal of cruising with the mayor, plus just a little update on, on the town and where we're at. But Absolutely. let's start with the, the council meeting yesterday. So we did start with our new arborist he became a master arborist. What does that mean for the town to have someone uh, and staff become a master at their craft? Well, as you know, uh, Flower Town in the Ponds was founded in 1847 and the intent was to protect the trees. Mm -hmm. We have a tree canopy master plan and it's something we value as a community. And to have someone that is excelled in their craft uh, operates at the highest level, I believe shows our commitment to do just that, to protect and preserve our tree canopy, to enhance it in the future so that future generations can enjoy Somerville the way we do. I, I agree. And Justin, if you're watching, congratulations. That's an awesome accomplishment. Yeah, um, I, I'll just jump in and say yeah. thank you for being excellent and setting the standard of excellence in your craft and working with the town of Somerville. I love it. Yes, yes, we, we love it. And I'm excited to have him on board. And if you guys haven't met Justin yet, I'm sure you'll see him around. Fantastic uh, staff member and person as a whole. So we're super excited to have him on the team. Uh, Mr. Mayor, so let's go into deeper into the meeting. Is there anything at the meeting that you would like to discuss? I know we passed the second and final reading for the um, the vaping in our uh, town property. Yes. Um, and smoking yes. and vaping. Can you dig into that and uh, the conversations that were had among council members last night? Uh, absolutely. We did uh, pass second and final reading with some amendments um, to the ordinance. And I think the amendments were really good amendments. Uh, one of the amendments uh, puts the uh, Director of Parks and Recreation, as they review permits, uh, responsible to help special events designate smoking areas so that if an event has a designated smoking area, maybe there's an event where cigars are welcome, people have the opportunity to do that in, the, in those events in a, a proper space. Um, you know, this uh, whole ordinance originated kind of from our Parks and Recreation to make sure that our parks and public spaces were uh, safe and clean uh, for all users. And um, I think the, the re revised um, ordinance does just that. Um, another uh, key component that was modified was the fine, which was originally up to $500 was now uh, capped at $50 for any okay. offenses. I truly believe that our citizens, uh, you know, follow the rules. They don't, uh, you know, do things where they're not supposed to. And I believe this ordinance hopefully won't be used too frequently, but it is a measure if needed to make sure that our parks are safe for all users. Absolutely, absolutely. And I know last night there was also an awesome presentation by the palmetto artisan group i don't know the exact name but can you dig into um the conversations that y'all have had i think they said you guys have had six meetings correct together so correct. what has that been about and what's the overall goal working with the Paul, that group now I, that's a great question and that they had an excellent presentation yes. um, so the palmetto artisan group if you have seen young men around Charleston or around Somerville selling Palmetto Roses. Uh, the Palmetto Artisan Group is a group that started in Charleston after some of the um, folks who were selling those kind of unregulated created problems with the tourist district. And they created a program where children uh, who wanted to be entrepreneurs were trained. They were provided actually life safety training as well. They're certified in CPR That's and first amazing. aid. That's amazing. Um, they work together with the city fire department and police department. They have supervisors, they have badges. Um, there's accountability on the uh, financial revenue that they generate. Um, and they have to have parent parental permission. 
this program is a great way for these young entrepreneurs to not only learn and grow, uh, but, but become better suited for our workforce, maybe a future firefighter or police officer. Yeah. And I'm excited that the, um, that the program is looking to extend here. Now this uh, was hyper uh, focused in on Somerville back in the earlier part of the year when we had an incident at Walmart. And um, we have been working together since then on what I believe to be a great solution that's been proven in the city of Charleston so that our young entrepreneurs can learn and grow but also do something constructive within our town that preserves a culture. Absolutely. It's extremely important to the town of Somerville. Absolutely. And I think you involve not only uh, different agencies but our public safety entities as well and bring them all together and it, what's really I think encouraging to see, especially from the community's standpoint, is taking something that happened, an event that happened, and growing from it as a town, yes. right? And taking a, a situation and growing and seeing how we can really help these, these children become young entrepreneurs and, and learn life lessons such as the CPR. I think it's an absolute incredible, incredible um, thing that's happening here in the town. Another uh, topic I want to touch on is we did have more conversations on the number of... And we love, hey, we love our motorcycles here in town too, I will say that. Um, but no, I was just talking about the committees and the, uh, the appointments to our, our yes. boards and committees. There was more conversation on that last night. Can you dig into that a little bit more? Yes, absolutely. So two uh, committee, um, I guess, draft ordinances went through first reading. One was how our committees are selected and our committees will be selected. Each council member being given the opportunity to uh, recommend an appointee to a committee. So that will be, you know, what each one of seven of us will have an opportunity to recommend. The council has the opportunity to approve that and each of our committees will be seven members. Okay. Um, so that is one item. Uh, the other committee item we discussed was in relation to the bar. And the bar's makeup is highly specific, and that's the Board of Architecture Review for those yep. who may not know the bar. But it's highly specific. It currently requires that three members be selected from the historic district because they oversee and steward the historic district. So in that case, the uh, discussion last night, one of uh, our council members requested that that be increased from three to five of the seven okay. members. Okay. And last night that passed first reading to increase from three to five. It's interesting enough, our current makeup does have five members within the historic district currently. So that uh, no changes would have to be made because it's already uh, similar to what it, what the changes would be. Okay. But that, we have second reading. There may be more discussion on both of those uh, next month. So we'll we'll touch base on that at the, our next cruising with the mayor. Um, and I guess, Mr. Mayor, uh, outside of that, is there anything else for the sake of the community that you want to share that came from the the meeting yesterday? No, not so much from the meeting. You know, I love our council members. Um, I will tell you. Hey, how are you? How are you? Hey, how are you? Um, the, uh, the, our council uh, works together so well that even when we disagree, you can feel the sense of respect mm -hmm. and sense of duty uh, between all of our members. I think it reflects the best of Somerville. Uh, uh, that's one takeaway. Um, I do, I know a lot of folks are interested in uh, infrastructure and it just so happened we had a uh, CHATS meeting, which is the Charleston Area Transportation That's Study, right. yep. which is a metropolitan organization for our BCD region, Berkeley, Charleston, Dorchester region. Yep. And, and I'm, I was excited. This was a great meeting for us because we approved $300,000 additional dollars to help study uh, the North Main congestion mitigation oh, wow. okay. uh, efforts, as well as getting Berlin Myers to I-26. That's a project we're working in conjunction with CHATS, with Berkeley County, and with SCDOT. 
and that's three hundred extra dollars on top of the two hundred thousand we had approved in February. This gives us more planning dollars so that we can be uh, working on that project as fast as possible. I'm excited for that. We also received eighty-one thousand dollars to help us retime and uh, make our signals on North Main Street more efficient, oh, all the way fantastic. from seventy-eight past the interstate. All, all of that area, we will have uh, more efficient signal timing thanks to that $81,000. And on top of that, you will be excited to know that uh, Dorchester County applied for $1.9 million and was granted that for the Sawmill Branch Trail Extension. And that is exciting for our entire community. So with that, I wanted to share those uh, updates with you. That's incredible, Mr. Mayor, and I, I thank you so much. And now we're arriving at Piggly Wiggly for another one of our hurricane drives, uh, donation drives. So I think we've done one with the, the fire department and we're doing this one. I think that's gonna be really great for the community as well. It really is. So go to the, Mr. K's Piggly Wiggly in town. There is a box, uh, uh, well, I say a box. It's a 53 foot container that a truck will hook up to. We want you to fill that up as fast as you filled up our, come check it out, fill it up just as fast as you did for our, uh, and, and let's help our neighbors who are going through hard times. You know, in Hurricane Hugo, I grew up here and there were a lot of folks who brought in supplies and brought in resources to support our community. Let's do the same for those who are hurting now. Absolutely, we had two bad storms come through and hopefully that's, that's it for the year, but a lot of people have been affected, so. Uh, definitely come out, out and, and give your support to our neighbors up north and the south. Absolutely. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. And, and until next time, uh, this is Cruising with the Mayor. See you guys. Mm -hmm.